So, you are here. You are in a job. And that job, you know within yourself that this is slavery. You know. And your contract is almost expiring. Listen to the instruction I'm giving to you now. You have a job. You don't enjoy that job. Maybe you, are even, you just signed a contract. Or your contract is almost expiring. And you are here tonight. You don't want that job. Because it doesn't give you time to serve God. It doesn't give you time for yourself. And you need God's help. Wherever you are, come to the front. Nobody? Okay. Can you see? The, I mean, it's very, very good. Clap for Jesus, everybody. One person. Very good. If it were to be for everybody, ah, everybody, just troop to the front. Don't take headache medicine for stomach pain. Okay. Praise the Lord. You don't like the job, right? You are, when is your contract expiring? No. Okay, it's a new job. You've been there for four months. But you don't like. Were you not aware before? Pay is okay. Move your mark, sir. Let me hear you. Hmm? But they want to. You know, you know what the devil does to a lot of people is you, you were serving God faithfully before. He said, let me give him a job that will take him away from church. I'm t this, is, this is what happens. Now be seated don't, so that I don't keep you standing. So he said, let me give him a job. Let me give her a job. That job will make him or her to leave the presence of God. And when the person leaves the presence of God, he will now connect that person to somebody, a man or a woman. Huh? who will reduce the love of God. You know, before you know what is happening, they begin to do nonsense. So the fire is already what? Finally, because the fire is callous. Is it callous? <laughs> because the fire is dead now. Aha, it's an opportunity for the devil to strike. An opportunity. He moved the person out of the covering first. And he said, yeah, yeah, now you can. No, I told you about those snipers. Aha. Uh -huh. He said, now strike. And the next time you see the person, the person cannot be the same again. I pray for you. The devil will not remote you away from the presence of God. When you come to church, you come to church for your own good. You come to church to pray. A young lady came for the, uh, what is it now? Uh, deliverance hour some years ago. I think about four years now. That lady was putting on white and white. And her friend invited her. Because God knows exactly what is going to happen to her. She came. If that lady had been willing that day, the Lord would have averted death out of her life. You know what happened? On that day, she said she was not ready for deliverance. In less than two weeks, she died. Not in Africa or in this country. And so that is usually what happened. 
So that is the reason why you must watch yourself very well. Say amen. amen. Okay. What do we do now? Let us address the issue. Now, what we're going to do is this. As soon as the one is converted to what I'm talking about, I don't say, let me just go to the point. You know you don't have to. Because you know, if it's eventually converted to what I'm talking about now, it will not give you the opportunity to do the things you want to do for God. Do you understand? But I'm praying that my God that I serve, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the King of glory, will move you away from the region of struggling. Thank you, Father. The next prayer point is stability for you guys. God will stabilize you. Jesus, the Son of God. Give her the grace to take that step. And let every power manipulating, let them be blinded in the name of Jesus Christ. Let those power be blinded. I pray for you also. The powers manipulating you. May they receive blindness. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Jesus, the son of... You will have mercy upon this woman. The job is, is good. The, pay, the payment is... But no place to serve God. As many of you here, here you want stability in this country. Uh, moving from one job to another job, another job. You want stab God to stabilize you. God stabilized this ministry for 15 years in this country. That mighty God is in the house. He can give you stability. You want stability in this land. To remain unmovable, always abounding. That is what my father will do for you. Please move out here. That is what I desire for you. Stability stability not that i have this job today tomorrow is no 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 god can give you stability everyone in this place tonight take stability in the name of jesus yeah. stability is one of the things that eludes people in this country but you know practically nothing is stable But I'm believing God. God can give you stability. He has given some people stability in this land. If you are there, you want stability. In your business. In your career. We're going to pray specifically concerning that. The God you are serving is a God that has the ability to give you stability. Do you believe that? If that is your situation, you need stability. I want you to come to the front. Please help me move this woman very well. Father, by the time this woman wakes up, there is no contention over her life. In the mighty name of Jesus, stability is not big. It's not too big for you to have your own company. And you are doing well. Uh, almost everybody, yes, I, be, I know. Stability. You know, stability is in so many areas. Financial stability, marital stability, relationship stability, health stability. Stability. The God we serve in this house 
for 15 years, the door of this church has never closed. And we have never been disturbed in the area of uh, instability. Oh, maybe you know, begin to say, oh, let's tell everybody we cannot meet today uh, because of, no, 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 the devil dare not try it. God gives us information ahead of time. And he positions us ahead of time. I pray for all of you. My God that I serve, we do the same thing for you in Jesus' name. This is instant intervention service. And this is what you are picking from this meeting tonight. I pray. I pray for you. I'm asking my father to stabilize you in the name of Jesus. Mm. The Lord said I should ask you. I'm praying stability. In what area you will now open your mouth and tell the Lord in the area you want stability before I pray for you. That is how it is. Tell the Lord in what area do you want stability? In what area? And I'm telling you, the God that I serve, no matter the contention, no matter the war, no matter the battle over your life, the devil will give up. Tell the Lord the area you want stability. Is it in your health? Is it in your relationship? Stability. Stability. Always abounding. You remain unmovable. I speak the word of God over your life. The God we serve in this house will do it for you. Open your mouth. Tell your father. Stability is one vital, vital, I call it commodity in this land. You need God to stabilize you. Lord, our eyes are on you. No one can help us except you. This is instant intervention service. We have come to you for your help. Father, it is what you can do. Lord, answer the prayers of your people. Give them that testimony, Lord. Stability is what they ask for. Stability in all areas of their lives. Job-wise, business, career. Stability, Lord, in the name of Jesus. To continue to stay in this land. It is possible, Lord. It is possible. It is possible. Tell your heavenly father. You are right before his altar. I believe something will happen in your favor. Something will happen in your favor. My God is the only present help. Present help in time of need. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Now there are some standing here tonight. I rebuke over your life the spirit of vagabond. The vagabond spirit. I come against you in the name of Jesus. Every vagabond spirit. Every vagabond spirit. Every vagabond spirit. That those are the spirit that manipulates people out of job, in job, out of houses, in the houses, new accommodation after six months, another accommodation. It's a vagabond spirit. I command you, leave these people alone in the name of Jesus. It also shows in health. Today is okay. Tomorrow is, you know, is headache. Next tomorrow is okay. Another day is, that is a vagabond spirit. It will not allow somebody to enjoy stability. I pray for you. The spirit of vagabond. Let that spirit live you in Jesus name. The God will serve the mighty God in Zion. That God is the God of all flesh. And there is no impossibility with him. 
I pray for you. Let my father encounter you now. In the areas of your life, you need stability. I push you into it in Jesus' name. I command you, enter in the name of Jesus. This year, 2022, you will experience stability. Some time ago, I was, I was, this issue was a, a concern to me. And I was praying. And the Lord said to me that the same power with which I have established this ministry and stabilized this ministry in this country, the same power, acts for the same power to stabilize your people. I pray for you for stability in the name of Jesus. Family wise, stability in the name of Jesus. Relationship. Some people they just change relationship anyhow. In one year, three relationship. When will you be stable to say you want to marry? There are cases like that. And it is not far from these wicked manipulations of the devil. I pray for you. Be stabilized relationship wise. In the name of Jesus. And I pray that your faith comes alive. Because a double minded person is unstable in his ways. If your faith is shaky, that is, that is the avenue the devil is using to destabilize you. But if your faith is strong in Christ, and your faith is consolidated in the word of God, I'm telling you, you remain unmovable. If, let the mountains be shifted. Let them be moved into the mountain. You are, I mean, to the sea. You are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are resolute. I pray for the spirit of faith to come over you in the name of Jesus. I pray the spirit of faith to enter every one of you in the name of Jesus. Father, I'm not going to lay physical hands on these people. But I want you to lay your hands upon every one of them now. Now, don't say amen again. Watch my father touching everyone now. Father, please touch everyone. Father, every one of them. Everyone. Touch that brother, Lord. Touch that sister, Father. Carado Shata, can you imagine? Aha. Uh -huh. That is the touch of my father. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, that brother. Yes, yes, yes. Touch that person also. All the spirit of God. Aha. Uh -huh. Something is happening. A touch from my father. Every one of you. Every evil barriers on your on your part that is destabilizing you. Get the touch of my father in the name of Jesus Christ. And whatever is troubling you in your dreams. Uh -huh. Some of you, as soon as you see a particular dream, you, you are destabilized. Look at that. What? In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. Whatever is disturbing you, whatever is harassing you in your dreams. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let my God touch you now. A touch. A touch like fire. A touch like fire. Touch, 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 touch like fire. Aha. Uh -huh. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, every one of you. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, something is happening. Something is happening. A touch. A touch from my father. A touch from my father. Every one of you. Your story must not remain the same. You came to church. You're asking for instant intervention. God is in the house. Aha. Uh -huh. Let him touch you now. Let him touch you now. My father is touching everyone in the name of Jesus. I'm not going to put... Aha. Uh -huh. I will not put physical hands on anybody. That is, that is a touch. Can you see that? Aha. Uh -huh. Look at that. Aha. Uh -huh. That is my father for you. I'm not touching anybody, but something is happening already. Kosha. Uh -huh. Hey. Oh, my father is here. My father is here. Awesome God. Awesome God. Look at, look at him. Tola tu she pa ka aha. Look at that. Hey. Hey. Kosha taliaba. I'm not touching anybody. My father is touching everyone. Exactly. 
Uh huh. A touch, a touch, a touch, a touch, a touch. Holy Spirit of God. Uh huh. None, they can't remain the same again. A touch, 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 touch. Uh huh. Holy Spirit, sweet Spirit, look at that. Aha, uh -huh. my God, my God. The Lord is awesome in this, uh, in this congregation tonight. Stagnation must break out of your life. Stagnation must break. Aha, uh aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Yes, Jesus, the Son of God, by His Spirit is touching every one of you. By His Spirit is touching everyone, everyone. Receive your touch. Receive your touch. Receive your touch from my father. He is the one touching everyone. He is the one touching everyone. He is here tonight to touch you. Thank you, Father. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, every one of you in the front. Just open your mouth if you are still conscious. Open your mouth. Let the blood of Jesus enter you. Aha, you will see what is going to happen now. Open your mouth. Look at that. Look at that. Open your mouth. The blood of Jesus. Let it enter you. The blood of Jesus. Let it enter you. Aha. Uh -huh. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, is entering you, disconnecting you from inside. Aha! The blood of Jesus entering you, disconnecting you from the inside. Every invisible force is holding you down from the inside. You are being released now. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Aha! Aha! The blood, the blood of Jesus Christ. Aha, uh -huh. the blood of Jesus Christ. Aha, uh -huh. the blood, 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 the blood of Jesus. Let the blood enter. Just open your mouth. The blood is entering you. The blood of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. The blood of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is entering you. Jesus is freeing you from the inside. Something is happening there. Aha. Uh -huh. Maratosha, Golatosha, 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 Gabriela, Golatosha. In the mighty name of Jesus, what money cannot buy? The power of the blood of Jesus is releasing it to you now from the inside. Some of you, you are sick. You have complication, digestion wise. You have complication. I speak healing now in the name of Jesus. Whatever is tampering with your health, whatever is tampering with your relationship, Whatever is tumbling with your job, the power of my Father comes in into you now to deliver you in the name of Jesus. Now for the last time, all the Spirit, I want you to breathe upon every one of them. Your breeze now. Your breeze. Your breeze. Your breeze. Your breeze. Aha, look at that, my father. Breeze, breeze upon them. Baradosha Kaya. Breeze, then to breeze of the Holy Ghost upon this ones now. Now, now, aha, look at that. Uh, look at that. My, they take the gentle breeze of the Father. The gentle breeze of the Father. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it now. Gorata Shada Bayada. Leave that woman alone. You devil, you want to strangulate her. Leave her alone in the name of Jesus. Leave her alone. You foul spirit. Leave her alone. Bring her to the front here. Leave her alone, I command you. Remove your hand from her chest. From her neck. Remove your hand. Father, thank you for your people. If you are sick in this place, wherever that sickness is, you can touch it now. You can touch it.
receive healing now. Receive healing now. Receive healing. What money cannot deliver? Because you came to the presence of God tonight, receive it. Your digestive system, let it receive healing now in the name of Jesus. Whatever object moving in your body, I command that devil to leave you now in the name of Jesus. Pain, incessant pain in any part of your body, let it go now in the name of Jesus. If the Son of Man shall set you free, you shall be free indeed. Panadol, paracetamol cannot do this. But let my Father touch you now. Receive healing. Instant healing. In the name of Jesus. Receive healing. Instant healing. In the name of Jesus Christ. Receive healing. Instant healing in the name of Jesus. As many of you are here, you are believing God for a job. You are believing God for a job. You need a job for stability. I pray the door is open to you in the name of Jesus. The God that I serve, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the miracle working God, let him give you a job, of a miracle job in the name of Jesus. Now, how many of you believe in God for a job? Kneel down and make a vow with God. You will see what is going to happen. You have not done this before. Kneel down before him. Ask him and connect it with a vow. It will surprise you how speedy. Now, if God sees your heart that you are sincere, you will see what is going to happen. Just in two minutes, make a vow with him. There is a way you take things from the Father, especially if you connect it with a vow. It comes speedily. Make that vow. And you will see what is going to happen. Are you sure you are praying? If God gives you this job, this miracle job, what will you do? Anna made a vow. God had a vow. He understood the vow. He brought the answer. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, your request has become a testimony. By the same power that brought Jesus out of the grave. When that miracle happens, come to the church to come and testify. I'm sure you got it already. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name. Now, listen, don't pray on this matter again. <laughs> Will you have the faith to do that? Don't pray on it again. It becomes a testimony already. Amen. Do you know, in the month of uh, February, which is the month of our anniversary, there's going to be a lot of congratulations. But it's starting from now. But that month, watch out. The month of February. We're going to record, you know, unprecedented testimony concerning job in this house. And new, new, new things. That woman has been finding it hard to do this or do this or do that. That month of February in this house. Congratulations all the way. Oh, Put your hands together for Jesus, the Son of God. Help me congratulate yourself. Tell that person congratulations. Don't frown. See, if somebody is congratulating you and is frowning, don't, don't shake the hand of that person. Whoever is congratulating you and is frowning, don't shake the hand of that person. Hallelujah. I congratulate all of you. I rejoice with all of you. Praise the Lord. Now, there are some of you, what, what you just need is boldness. Who is that person? You, you, you know, you have been having this urge to go back to your country. 
you, 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 are, you, are, you want to go back. Sincerely speaking. Who is that person? You want to go back. Is it you? You heard what I've just said now. There is an urge to go back to your country. I will interpret that to you. There is an urge. So let me ask you, so why have you not gone back? No, no, no. Why are you laughing? Because the Holy Spirit wants to sort out the issue. It could be concerning immigration. You understand? And maybe that is why you, you don't want to go. But the other side to it is... Maybe a voice is telling you. Do you understand what I've just said? Urge to go back to your country. Huh? You know, that one is... Uh, your, your son is two years. Going to... So you want to go and see him and come back. Stay, my friend. The son see has a lot of years ahead of him. Look at him. Instead of you to tell God, God, just give me a miracle. Let them come immediately. Say you want to go. In fact, you are not going anywhere now. Some of you don't. You, some of you see. You don't know if the devil is drawing you. What do they call it? Yeah, remote control. They just call the name of that guy. Say, come home now. And you begin to prepare. You know, in your mind, you begin to pray. There's a mind shift. There's a lady I was praying on that lady. The de- she came to me. She said, I'm, I'm going home. I said, don't go. I just said it. Unknown to me that the devil was planning for her to go to go and kill her there. of God is this for you. Don't waste your time. Do you understand? Don't waste your time. If they need you, they will come for you. So you are not anxious and uh, you know, agitated. If you have what you are doing at home, go back home. Face what you are doing. Do you get it? If they need you, they will send for you. And everything can even be concluded on the phone. Since you are there, do you get it? And you? So you want to leave? Okay. And you?
stronger than man will report the person to God beyond the sin. And there are some people they feel they are the ultimate. They are oppressors. But there is still a God that is in heaven. I pray concerning this case. The favor of God will magnet your life. And that person, I told you don't call. Do not call. The person will call you and give you that thing. In Jesus' name. It is God. God bless you. You can go back to your seat. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. Shall we rise up? Who is that person whose mother is sick and you need prayer? If you are there, come to the front. Let me use it as a point of contact for your mom. She's sick and your heart is there. And you can't send money to her. You just find yourself. Jesus will heal her for you. Maybe it's your dad also. But specifically, mother. You see what is going to happen? We're going to pray from here. The supernatural power of God will touch that woman. And at this time, just mark the hour now. This is 9 o'clock UA time. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth the name that is above every other name. Father, you reveal this case because you want to do something. I pray. Using those people as a point of contact, the Lord, you will release your healing power to their moms or their parents in the name of Jesus Christ. You sickness, foul spirit, I rebuke you concerning them in the name of Jesus Remove your hand from them in the name of Jesus. I say remove your hands. In the name of... Remove your hands in the name of Jesus. Remove your hands. I command you. You can't hold them down on that bed again. Whatever the health challenge may be. Healing now in the name of Jesus. It is a decree. And so shall it be. Lato sokori alahada. Aha. The angels of fire. Just touch that person and burn that sickness, that infirmity away from that life in Jesus' name. As these ones are before the altar, I'm asking for healing now. Instant healing now. You have done it before, you will still do it again. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, I prayed. Those of you in the front now say amen. amen. Say that amen again. For the last time, say amen. amen. Watch out. You are going to receive a testimony. Amen. It is done. Amen. God bless you. There is a sister here. She's in a relationship. Now that relationship is being threatened. And you are worried. And you want to take an action. I don't know. You are in a relationship and that relationship is threatened now as I'm talking to you. And you just need God to intervene. Two things. It is either the relationship will scatter in your favor. Or if you want to continue to hold it, it will be to your detriment. Who is the person? You don't want to come out. Okay. Help me put your hands together for her. For taking that bold step. Don't worry. The Lord is going to set to it. Whatever it is. It is like a storm. But I speak peace. Peace. The passes all understanding. 
Jesus, the Son of God, let your peace take over now. Not their own abilities, but let your peace rule. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Aha. Uh -huh. Peace, peace of God. Let it take over now. Father, that relationship, if it is just satanic trap, by yourself, scatter it. If it is satanic trap. But if it is a devil manipulating things against them, let the storm be over now in Jesus' name. There is a testimony in Jesus' mighty name. Put hands together for Jesus. Amen. Go back to your seat. Just, you know, the peace of God is in your heart now. Let the peace of God continue to rule your heart. Ah, where is this man? Isaac. Where is Isaac? Uh -huh. I did, that is Isaac. It. Kalusha Talaba. Take it. You need it. Kalutabaya. Take it. Uh -huh. You need it. The glory of God overshadow you. Uh -huh. That is my father. There is somebody here. There is a dispute over your family land and uh, dispute over a land dispute over a land over a property landed property now it's not a building now it's a land there's a dispute on it and it's like you guys are almost losing if you are there come jesus is going to undertake for you Those people thought they can cheat you or but Jesus, the Son of God, wants to intervene. It's going to be in your favor. Father, you revealed it because she's here tonight. Every gang up from, look at that, my God. I pray whatever belongs to you that the devil wants to take from you by force. We stop the hand of the devil in the name of Jesus. So, you will kill all of them. You, you, you are doing... You, Can you see that? The property is not what? It's not for them. It's for me. I'll kill them. 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 So you are the one who. I'll kill them. 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 I'll them Okay keep, okay, keep quiet now. Keep quiet. Because of the property, you killed their father. Now, I command you in the name of Jesus, remove your hand over that property. You must remove your hand. Leave, 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 the, leave our hand now. Now, I chain those hands now. I chain the hands. Now, open that hand now. You see? That is how the whole thing is in the spirit. Open that hand in the name of Jesus. Let that hand catch fire. I release fire on that hand. Fire! Aha. Uh -huh. 
in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the name that is above every other name, that property is theirs. And you cannot contend with them again. And there is nobody losing their life over that property. It is a decree. Because this woman is in church tonight, that is why God is encountering her. They, there is no connection with which they can get that property. But Jesus, the Son of God, is stepping in to favor her, to favor her siblings. None will die over that property again. Amen. It is a decree and so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name. Somebody put your hands together for Jesus, the Son of God. You know, he's, he's the God that sees everything. Can you imagine the contention of the devil over that property? What belongs to you shall not be taken from you forcefully. Ah, that job, take that job in the name of Jesus. Take that position in the name of Jesus. That joy, joy, I mean joy, J-O-Y, is yours. Take it in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. You are here. Your child is sick in Africa. Who is the person? In this house, we pray and Jesus answered. Hey, there is no need for us to begin to, you know, we, we can't travel to go and meet the child, but we can decree. Your child is sick for, for how long now? Like three days. And is, it, is, that, is that the reason you want to travel? <laughs> what about you? Okay, okay. That is in and out of there. That is exactly okay. Okay. All of you just touch your tummy, and the Lord is going to heal because those children came from your bower. I speak healing now. Let the healing of Jesus flow from you now to them. Uh huh. The healing power of Jesus, it's going to be instant healing for them. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Son of God, that spirit of infirmity, let it be rebuked in their lives in Jesus' name. From the crown of their head now, I release healing. Aha. Uh -huh. Receive it in the name of Jesus. That child is healed. That child is healed. Aha. Uh -huh. That devil. Lose a grip over him. Can you see that? My father. Instantly, that boy is going to be healed. Amen. Holy Spirit of God. This is awesome in this arena tonight. Jesus is awesome. Healing, virtue, let it flow. Let it flow. Because that child came from your bower. Receive healing for that child. In the name of Jesus, the spirit of infirmity, I break your backbone now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The, we call it the spirit of infirmity. It's a spirit. And they hear when we exercise the authority in the name of Jesus Christ. Lose your grip now. Lose your grip over them. Lose your grip. Can you, can you see what my father is doing in this house? He wanted to kiss the doctor. Kalabasha Tayada. Now, remove your hand over that child now in the name of Jesus. Now, but the, the, the daughter is not going to be killed. That is why what? No. He, that daughter is healed now. The angel of fire. I assign that angel over that child now. In the name of Jesus. Watch what he's going to do. He's going to call the daughter. He instantly, Jesus is healing that child. Amen. I love my Jesus. <laughs> what Mike cannot see. Can you see? 
He, he, he didn't discuss anything with me that the child is sick or whatever. But the law spotted that case. And indeed, they, they were going to kill that child. Let that girl receive healing. Now, in the name of Jesus. Let that boy also receive healing. Now, in the name of Jesus. It is done by the power of God. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Put hands together for Jesus. Wow. There is a, a person here. There is a particular kind of dream you are, you are having incessantly. And it is a nightmare. It has occurred since January about three times. And each time that dream comes, you just, you, no sleep again. You just, say, even if it is three o'clock, you just wake up. My father. So what were you guys doing before? You were waiting for people to come out before you come out. Can you imagine? Your own dream is your dream. It's different from another person. You should know your dream. That one is coming. I pray for you. Whatever the meaning of that dream may be, whatever evil intention the devil has concluded concerning that dream, I have bought it on this altar. Amen. I cancel that dream in the name of Jesus. Amen. I say, I cancel that dream in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every evil intention, evil intention, Scatter in the name of Jesus. Amen. Holy Spirit of God. Evil intentions. You don't know, but the devil knows what he wants to do. I scatter it in Jesus' name. Amen. Let the blood of Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus, attack that dream in the name of Amen. Jesus. You are free from that dream. Amen. You will not have such evil dreams again. Now every evil door through which the devil is infiltrating, I shut the door now in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are free. Amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Now there's another person there. You had a dream that your file was stolen. Is, this is not a nightmare, but you discover that something was taken away from you. Like, document-like. File, document, I don't know. Something was taken away from you and Jesus is awesome in this house tonight. Just addressing issues. What money cannot buy is what my father is giving you tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Evil infiltration in your dream is gone. Tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh-huh. Evil infiltration in your dream is gone. In the name of Jesus. Open your hand. Those who
You have testimony already in Jesus. Amen. Celebrate Jesus. Yes. <laughs> Come. Even though you are not the one I call, but your spiritual antenna is off. Open your hands. Father, I release your fire in these hands. Let it burn whatever is not of your will in these hands. Whatever is not retaining testimony in this hand, let it catch fire. Yes, fire in the name of Jesus. Let the fire of God burn whatsoever it is that is not holding testimony by the authority that is in the name of Jesus Christ. From now, I place in your hand testimony. I place in your hand testimony. What God is going to do is going to surprise you. Take it. Take it. Go shatalabaya. Aha. Take it. Kalado shataba. Take it in the name of Jesus Christ. Put hands together for Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Shall we rise up now? Father, we return all the glory to you tonight for that which you have done, meeting your people at the very point of their needs. Father, all this testimony shall be permanent in Jesus' name. We forbid the wicked one to attack these testimonies. So we declare, so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.